Major funding is heading to Lawrence County School District 55. It's part of the U.S. Department of Education's Teacher Incentive Fund grant. We're told the district will receive more than $3 million in year one and nearly $14 million over three years. Superintendent Dr. Amika Thomas partnered with the National Institute of Excellence in Teaching to apply for the grant this past summer. Thomas says the grant will be used to increase teacher and principal effectiveness and to create a performance-based compensation system for teachers and for principals. In Project Community, a special gift to an Anderson County veteran. The Owens Corning Roof Deployment Project gives back to U.S. military veterans, which is a nationwide effort to show gratitude and honor the veterans who served our country and the families who support them. Through a partnership with Purple Heart Homes, U.S. Army veteran Clayton Quick was selected and approved as the newest recipient for a roof replacement. The program began in 2016. So far, more than 475 military members have received new roofs. Visit Greenville FC says it's rebranding. Visit Greenville FC is moving away from the Yeah That Greenville hashtag. The new campaign is This Is The Life, This Is Greenville. It also revealed a new logo last night at its annual meeting. The new campaign will not replace Yeah That Greenville, which began in 2013, but Visit Greenville FC says its focus has moved from which Greenville to why Greenville. The full branding shift will take place early next year. Well, three restaurants in the Carolinas have made the top 10 list of best fine dining experience in the U.S. This is according to TripAdvisor. The restaurant at Gideon Ridge in Blowing Rock, North Carolina, takes number two on the list. TripAdvisor says people can enjoy dining al fresco or in the dining room with big mountain views. Coming in at number three is Hall's Chop House in Charleston, which offers a classic and comfortable dining experience. Also in Charleston, circa 1886 restaurant rounds out the top 10, located in the original carriage house of the Wentworth Mansion. TripAdvisor says they award restaurants with a high volume of reviews over a 12 month period and each winner must pass rigorous trust and safety standards. Several famous artists are in Simpsonville today and tomorrow as part of the First Voyage Music Festival. Headliners like Khalid, Quinn 92, Teddy Swims, and the DJ duo Two Friends are performing. That's at the CCMB Amphitheater in Simpsonville, and that event is held rain or shine. General admission and VIP tickets are still available with prices starting at $95. And as we inch closer to October, we want to tell you about Well Walker Day to the Bon Secours Wellness Arena. It's every Tuesday and Thursday except for October 12th. The arena concourse will be open from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for anyone who wants a cool indoor place to exercise. Each loop is a quarter mile. During the October 31st date, there will be a walk with a dock from 9 to 11 a.m. A Bon Secours doctor will be at the well to offer guidance about nutrition, preventative health, and chronic disease management. She'll walk laps with anyone wanting to talk or ask questions. Questions. Well, Walkers is free with no registration required. Parking is also free in the VIP lot of the arena located off of Church Street. All right, time now for a final check on the roads. Here's Hannah. All right, guys, things are getting pretty wild this morning on the roadways. We need to listen up. Greenville, hey, you have a wreck. This just popped up. 123 also impacting my Easley drivers trying to head towards Greenville. This one's at Washington Avenue. I'm keeping a close eye on that one. Spartanburg County, you have two accidents this morning. One of them's at 357 Farms Bridge Road. The other one at Highway 101 right there at I-85 as several people from BMW try to get to work this morning. Also watching one in Anderson County. I-85 southbound. This one impacting you right there at 187. And Georgia, we have a detour set up for you. If you're heading out the door in Commerce, we've got big delays on I-85 northbound as you would try to head towards South Carolina. That crash, it happened at Georgia 98, but I'm going to go ahead and take you off the interstate. This is where a lot of that construction is for that I-85 widening project. I'm going to get you off at 129. You're going to make your way towards Highway 441. There's several different routes you can take to get to 441, but that's where you'll get back on the interstate. Sydney. All right. Thanks, Hannah, for all of that information. Lots going on on the roads. Fortunately for us, we are nice and quiet. Looking at our SkyCam network, these temperatures feeling like fall. Upper 50s to the lower 60s, and we've got a gorgeous day on tap. Looking at our four-day plus forecast, really can't beat this weather. If you're trying to get out and about this weekend, we've got Picture perfect conditions, lots of sunshine. Temperatures will be a little bit warmer on Saturday, topping out in the lower 80s, 83 degrees, 80 on Sunday. 82 on Monday, but the good news is you are waking up to nice fall like conditions and low humidity all throughout the next several days, even as we head on into next week. In fact, we've got quite the stretch of sunny days, mostly sunny skies now through the very end of next week. It does look like we could potentially see some rain working into the forecast by late week as we get towards Friday and the weekend, but for the time being, enjoy all the sunshine.